Welcome to Opal 535, Principles of Adult Learning. My name is Vicki Stia. I'm one of the professors for this course. This video provides a brief overview of the course Blackboard site to help you get started. When you open the course, you'll see the announcement page. Announcement pages will be used each week to introduce modules and to wrap up modules. Sometimes there will be additional announcements to alert you to upcoming deadlines or exciting developments in the program. As you look at the course, make sure that you pay close attention to the different menu items. The menu is set up so that you can quickly get to sections of the course. Your course syllabus is an essential document to guide you through the course. Download the course syllabus and save it on your computer. Your faculty member will let you know if there are ever any updates. The course syllabus is a comprehensive view of everything that you'll be doing in the course. Make sure that you have all of the textbook and required materials for the course before the first week of the semester. Everything in Opal 535 is summarized in the syllabus, including assignments, the modules that they'll be due, scores, grading scales, specifics for participation, as well as descriptions of all of the assignments. The last few pages of the syllabus include a tentative course schedule, including the dates, topics, and readings for the material that we'll be covering this semester. It also includes the highlights of various assignments. Make sure that you review the schedule of assignments and deliverables for the course. If you know that you're going to be out of town or particularly busy during a certain time, make sure you talk to your faculty member about any course conflicts that you have before they happen so that you can come up with a workable solution. The course resource page includes materials that will be helpful for you while you're involved in the course, including our Opal Learning Resources, the website, and the Boise State Library webpage, and your graduate catalog. If you need help with Blackboard or online resources that the university provides, use the Blackboard Help for Students link. Faculty advising information is included in the Blackboard site, including your faculty advisor, Ms. Joanne Fenner, and Mr. Kelly Week, who is our operation manager for OPAL. There's a link for any questions that you want to direct to your instructor. Use this discussion board to post questions that are general about the course. The classroom community space includes two discussion boards that will help facilitate our communication. The hallway discussion board for anything that you want to talk about amongst yourselves without the faculty member involved, and the contact information. This discussion board is designed to help facilitate synchronous communication, including web meetings that we have as a class and your work either synchronously or asynchronously on various team projects throughout the semester using Mountain Time Zone. You'll see that Mountain Time Zone is clearly identified here when you go to the Adult Learning Weekly Modules. This section of the course is where the heart of the learning happens. All of your weekly modules are posted by clicking in this area. So you'll see that this week, we're working in the Startup Week module. When you open that folder, you follow through from top to bottom, reading first the Read Me First, and then following through all of the activities, scrolling to the bottom of the page. Keep in mind that you can navigate between modules either by going back to the Adult Learning Weekly Modules link on the main navigation pane, or by navigating back one area on the navigation menu at the top of the page. After you've completed Module 00, or Startup Week, you can start previewing Module 1. 
As in the startup module, you'll see the README first, which lists the overview for the week, your reading materials, and your learning activities. Notice the red bar and the do by information that you see on the page. In every module, we have target dates for you to start certain activities. You post your startup post by Tuesday and then continue discussions through the week. For example, for learning activity module 1, 1, we're going to look at key learning factors. There's instructions on how to participate in the discussion. You'll read those and then follow the link to the key factors. So post startup threads Tuesday or Thursday before 11.59. Later in the week, you can go directly into the discussion board by clicking on this discussion board link. So here are the module discussion boards. They're all numbered according to the learning activities that you see within the module. You'll also notice that these are direct links to the discussion areas that were highlighted above as classroom community or questions for instructor. Any discussion board that has threads that you have not read yet will be highlighted in bold. You can also see the number of threads that you haven't read yet by the number that's in the red circle. The next area that we want to overview is the assignment drop box. The assignment drop box is a space that contains links to all of the assignments that you'll turn in. Now this is not your discussion board participation, but rather the specific learning activities that are marked as assignments in the syllabus. In our course, this includes working a case study, writing an original case study, completing the comparative organizer, submitting a theory to practice research paper. There's one other assignment that's completed as a discussion board. That assignment is your article review and topic proposal. To submit an assignment, just click on the folder link and you'll see a red link that shows you how to submit your assignment. In this case, we're going to write the submission in the submission window and then submit it. So I've clicked on it. Here's the submission window. I'm going to write that in this space just as it says and then click Submit. As in any course, Blackboard shows you that you've successfully included a submission. If you want to double check, you can always click on My Grades and in this case you'll see that the link has turned blue working a case study assignment which I just submitted. It shows that it's waiting for the professor to grade it. That's what the exclamation mark means. Click on this blue assignment submission. It will show you what you submitted. If I want to go back and look at something that is a grade that is not through an assignment board, for instance, participation in a discussion board, after that's been graded, I'll be able to see that information here as well. And again, anything that's blue on the My Grades is clickable. You'll be able to see graded content by clicking across these links. The final link on our menu is a library resource page. The entry point from Blackboard to our Boise State Library takes us directly to the OPAL what we call library guide. We love this page because our librarians have put together all the information that ne we need in this class to do research. When you do your paper for the end of the semester, you're going to conduct research starting on this site. When you do your article review, we're going to point you to the journal section on this page. So that's why we're highlighting it here today. You might want to take some time at the very beginning of the semester and start doing some browsing 
in some of our OPAL journals. This information is going to be helpful for you not only in, in adult learning, but in all of your OPAL courses. There's also some information here on writing a literature review and conducting general research as well as using APA style to write your papers. So that's our basic introduction to the course. Now let's get started.